Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to cover Angular 17 features, especially can activate, can activate child and can deactivate. All of these things are deprecated in the previous version. They have converted into the functions and that's available from Angular 16 plus. So it is better to change it now. So let's learn how we can convert this. That is what we are going to take a look at in this video. Come, let's get started. Alright, so if you go to angular.io and try to search with can activate, you can see can activate has been deprecated and can activate child is also deprecated. So all of the previous one is all deprecated. What does that mean? So let me open up a code and if you look at what is deprecated. Alright, so before we take a look at the code, I did some very simple thing to make this understand. All right, so let's take a quick demo on this video. So this is Angular 17. Only in Angular 17, you will see this kind of a, a front page. But take a look at the top left side. So if I click on profile, it goes to login. If I click on login, it goes to login. If I click on this again, it goes to login. So let's assume that we are going to login. If I go to profile now it goes to profile it goes here as well right so now there are some can activation like the guard has been placed for these things that's why it's not going to uh, the other routes until you log in right so now take a look at the code all right now let's take a look at the code so if you go to auth guard in this code i will give you in this uh, this all this code uh, before and after code in the github so don't worry about the code but let's focus on this so if you have seen in your project if you have already used the the can activate the can activate is now deprecated see deprecated means it uh, the angular is giving us the team is giving us chance to change this to the uh, allowed uh, code so that in the later release they will remove this and all of a sudden if you upgrade the project you'll end up in a very big nightmare so in order to avoid that we are going to see how we can convert and understand so that we don't need to have this hurdle so the code that you're looking at here is all the existing code. If I have a can activate, this is how today the can activate can be, right? It will have a constructor. It will have this activated route snapshot and the router state snapshot. Then it has to return a Boolean. Okay, it could be an observable of Boolean or a direct Boolean, right? We're going to convert this into the can activate function. So we go to Angular and say can activate function, right? It will tell you what it has to be done. It would have given you some example also, but if you don't understand, that's absolutely fine. That's what we're going to see in the demo. So let's go to the routing module here. In the routing module, if you see, there is a can activate. For this route, we are putting an auth guard, right? So auth guard, if I go inside, that is where this can activate is there. So how do we convert this into the can activate function? So this is what we will do. So we will convert this into can activate function. All what you have to do is you have to just, uh, you know, inherit the can activate function that's coming from Angular. And then it also have, it will accept two things as a parameter. Okay, activate a snapshot and then router state snapshot. If you compare this, actually both are same. See, the, the input parameter is same. All would, what you have to do is it has to go with an arrow function and then a function has to be returned. In the function, you can put your logic. Now, this is what has to be done. Here, you're injecting the auth service in the constructor. Instead, you have to say inject the service name followed by whatever you're using in the service. In my case, it's logged in. It's a property. You can use property or you can use the function itself. So I'm checking if is logged in is true, then return true. If not, I can also inject the router and put them back to a different route. I have a route called slash login. If you go all the way through to my routing here, there's a route called login. So it will kick them out to the login. That's what the can activate will do. Now, similarly, there is something called can activate child. So today can activate child is going to be, they'll be implementing a can activate child. Again, it's same, right? It's exactly same. Uh, it has no difference. It's just the name is different. But here also we are converting the can activate into can activate child function, right? So here it accepts a function of two parameters. Inside this, you need to pass the logic. Basically, this is only function. 
if you have put this outside like the from here to here is a function it requires a function so we are just opening a parenthesis and writing curl bracket and writing the function logic here itself it is again same we use the route to check what is the path if the path is just going to the uh, the profile level or if the user role is admin we allow them to go to the edit profile okay if not we kick them out and put return as false all right so let's understand this right so initially if i go to profile it's asking me to log in but if i log in if i go to profile it goes if i go to profile edit it still goes right but when it will not go is let's say i change the role to support okay now let's do the same thing if i go to profile it doesn't go but let's say i log in go to profile it goes but can i go to profile edit no it doesn't goes this is what the child activation right so it doesn't go inside the profile why because in the can activate child function i have the logic that checks for an admin role we're just simulating right we're trying to understand how this is converted into this right so once you convert this logic all what you have to do is you have to use this instead of the auth code or whatever code so let's go here so in this case instead of auth code it is activate god for child instead of the profile god which is the can activate child god okay so this will help us to understand where it is going this is how you convert a duplicated function to a acceptable function now that's one last thing called can deactivate so let's consider this route okay so in this route what i'm going to do is let's go to auth servers i'm still going to make this as edit and then let's go to edit okay so in the edit all what i'm doing is when you come inside right i am triggering a function that will set this has change to false but initially it will be true now let's understand can deactivate basically can deactivate is, is something that uh, we are preventing a user to navigate away from a component when there is some changes are not done for example you're trying to fill up a form you're editing a form you're in off way through you're trying to close the browser or just navigate out of the route then that's when we ask them to hey something is not saved if you move then everything will be erased is that okay that is how you use this can deactivate so in our case we have simulated that so let's understand this let's go to home let's log in i'm going to profile edit see if i try to go anywhere else it doesn't go but if i wait for five seconds and go it will definitely go the reason because the can deactivate is checking something called has and saved change currently it is set to true we will set to false after 5 seconds right we are just simulating it so if i go to this route right all what you have to do is under the path where you have to check this can deactivate there is a can deactivate uh, call here you need to provide which component is that and then you are also checking whether this has saved and same changes are set to false or not so this will allow uh the angle to understand when to route and when not to route okay so when somebody is trying to uh navigate away when this is true the route gets cancelled because the condition is met it won't allow them to go back right that's what we saw in the demo now i hope you enjoy this video this is new this is angle 16 plus but we are using 17 but all anything that is deprecated you have to change it for that you need to understand how this functions are working which is replaced in the late newer version of the angular so if you like this video definitely share this video and have your nice comments in the comment section if you're not subscribed subscribe to my channel don't forget to click on the bell icon okay so in the upcoming video i will talk about resolver as well as new concept called signals which is completely new from angular 17 okay so we'll talk about those in the upcoming videos all right thank you i'll see you in the next video Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Happy coding.